now live is saving this entire sampler complete with all the samples. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do this for snares. So I'm going to delete this sampler and I'm going to start fresh with a brand new one. So the beautiful thing about having these saved is I can now load them at any future time in any future project. So get this. Now I'm going to go back up to Ableton's device browser. And like I said earlier, I program all my percussion in drum racks. So I'm going to grab a, grab a drum rack here. And in the drum rack, normally when there's a sample, it loads into a simpler. So if we just grab an example sample here, say one of these bass drum samples, and I drop it into a pad, double click on it, you can see it loads here a, an Ableton simpler. And the simpler is a, a very super basic sampler, um, but it's limited. So we want to use the bass drum samples and the clap samples that I just created. So in this case, we're going to delete the sample. Now we're left with a blank drum rack. Now inside drum racks, you can actually drop samplers instead of simplers. So we're going to go back up to our device browser and we're going to go down to where our two devices that I saved are. And we're going to click on our sampler here, it contains the kick drum samples, and just drop it on a pad. We're going to do the same thing with our clap samples. We're going to drop it on a pad. Now we have literally two pads filled, but we have access to an entire range of different sounds that we can access very quickly. Now, the way we're going to access these very quickly is again through MIDI mapping. So we go to our kick drums, we make sure that we are clicking on the chain selector, and we're going to enter MIDI map mode. We're going to map the kick drum samples to one, and we're going to map the clap samples to the next knob over. Now if we just draw in a basic MIDI pattern, we're just going to go one bar here. By the way, if you want to insert a MIDI clip very quickly, there is a keyboard shortcut to be able to do that. And if you highlight an area and on the Mac press Command, Shift, and M. On the PC, I'm guessing that's probably Control, Shift, and M. It will insert a blank MIDI clip. So just a little keyboard shortcut there for you. Double click on this, it'll bring us uh, up to the MIDI editor, and we're just gonna program in a, a basic drum beat. Now you'll be able to hear, as I scroll through on the knobs, you'll be able to hear the samples changing in real time. So we're going to go back over to our drum rack, and we're going to click on our kick drum samples. And you'll be able to see as the clip is playing, the sound's changing. Now we're going to be able to do the same thing with our claps. Now, we can even take this one step further, and with percussion, it's essential to be layering things, because individually the sounds oftentimes can sound kind of thin. In dance music, the way we get super fat sounding percussion is by layering samples on top of each other. So, all we do is we drag in another instance of our samplers. So we drag in another instance of the kick sampler, and another instance of the clap sampler. And then we go back over to our MIDI editor window, and we just copy the patterns. It's very easy with a keyboard shortcut here. If you have something highlighted, I don't know if you just saw what I did there. If you have MIDI events highlighted here, you can copy them by holding down the Option key on a Mac and clicking and dragging. And it creates a new version of the pattern. A very quick and easy way to copy over MIDI clips here, or MIDI events. Now if we go back over to the new ones that we've added, we can go ahead and MIDI map these chain selectors as well. So we enter MIDI map mode, and we click on the chain selector, and we map to the next knob up on our MPD32. We do the same thing on our claps. Go to the chain selector, go to the next knob up, and we exit MIDI mapping mode. And now we have independent control from these four knobs on all four samples. So now if we let our track play, we'll be able to use the knobs to very quickly rotate through and find a couple samples that will work together that we like.
So as you can see, this is an amazingly fast way of dialing in your sounds. And like I said earlier, when you pick the right samples that sound correct and fit really well together, it reduces the need to use an excessive amount of effects to get the samples sounding punchy and fat. So this is an awesome way to be able to scroll through sounds very, very quickly. Um, it's my favorite way of writing percussion, and I use this in every single percussion uh, setup in the tracks that I write now. So I just have a whole bunch of these guys saved. I use a whole bunch of different sample packs, so I can just drop in a sampler for virtually every sample pack that I have and dial in my percussion really, really quickly. So I would encourage you guys to use this, start building up your own sample banks for your percussion samples, and also keep in mind, this doesn't have to just be for percussion. You can use this for effects, for bass sounds, for synth sounds, for vocals, anything that you want to drop into a sampler and scroll through sounds very quickly, this can be used for. So in this case, I used it for layered percussion. I encourage you guys to push the envelope and explore what you can do with this technique. And um, yeah, once again, I am Vespers, I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer, and uh, I publish a YouTube video for free here on my channel about once a week. If you guys want to check me out, I've got a Facebook fan page, Twitter account, and website and blog. I also give away a lot of free stuff, music and extra tutorials, ebooks and whatnot on my newsletter. So pop back over to vespers.ca, hop on the newsletter and you'll get a bunch more goodies. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please do rate and share and comment if you have questions or if you want to help me spread the news about it. And look forward to catching you guys next time. Take care.